Welcome to the Mona Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at uh, getting quick started with Mona. First, we need to go over installing Unity. Then we need to go over uh, getting the Mona template. And then we're going to look at testing the, the build in the Mona web space. So let's get into it. First, we need to open a browser and go to docs, Mona dot gallery and return. Now this has all of your information that you will need. Uh, we're going to be focusing on this one, um, but this has all of your information there. Uh, we also have a lot of uh, tools in regards to using Unity to create your space. But today we're going to be focusing on the overview. So we need to set up the Motorverse project, create the space and test your space. This one and this one are what we're going to focus on today. So first we need to download Unity. So we can go to this location. Now we need 2020.3.18 uh, as of this video. So to get that, we can go to 2020.3 and then go down to 18. Now this is the one that is tested and trusted. So we highly recommend using this one. So I already have the Unity Hub installed. So we can do that um, or we can download it here. So I could download the Unity Hub, install that. Uh, but as I have it installed, I'm going to open that. And that will in open the Unity Hub there. Go to the install section and it will come up with this module. So for example, so 2020.3.18. Uh, now, if you scroll down, this is the WebGL module and is basically in compulsory. Uh, if you don't have this, Mona will not work. Uh, if you get an error on when you set the playable files, we'll go into that soon, or in your playable files, there are no files at all, there is a high chance that this is the reason. So make sure you add that. Another way to do it, is go add, for example. Now these are the recommended releases. As you can see, 2020.3.18 is not there. So you can go to a download archive, which brings up the page that we've, we've already been to. You can use 2020, for example. <laughs> uh, go to 18, Unity Hub, downloads, install, and the same approach there. So once again, make sure WebGL is selected and install. All right, so that's installed. Uh, next, we need to grab the template. So let's close that, get rid of those. Uh, so next up, we need the Mona template. So click on this link, go to the code, download the zip, save as. I'm gonna put this on the desktop today. Put it wherever you would like it, of course. And then we can get rid of that as well. Now, you'll have a zip file here. We want to extract that somewhere that you would like it. So this is the project itself. So I'm just gonna put it on the desktop and then you will have your files here. So now that we have Unity Hub and we have 2020.3.18, we can then for go to projects and add the one we just created. So this would be, where is it? Desktop, double click that, select the folder. Uh, we have the right version there. Current platform, go. And there we have it. Now your setup or layout may be a little different than mine. Uh, this is the way I like it. Uh, you can very easily drag windows around if you know to, uh, but this is how I like mine. So I'll usually pull open the animation, the animator. I'll put the package manager up here. Uh, lighting you might need to pull out as well. So if you wanna do light mapping, which we highly recommend, you need to do that here. And then after that, the key things we need to be doing is we need to go to Mona up here, uh, load space scenes, which means there will be three over here. Right mouse click on untitled, remove scene, and then you have your space. Now, just quickly, very, very quickly, 
we have our blue spawn point under space. Uh, this is the best place for it. If you put it here, it will not work. Uh, if you put it inside an object, it might not work. So it's best to keep it uh, sort of there. You can move it. If it's red, that's not very good in that it's in an object. Where, so it will be very, very difficult to spawn. If there is no spawn point, then it will spawn at zero, zero, zero. So keep that in mind. We have some lights, we have some reflection probes, which I recommend using uh, for metallic objects. We have some light probes, so the character looks really good in the scene. And then we have the floor under a delete me. Now I recommend deleting this for your scene. This is basically a place to start. And once again, space uh, scene is needed. Space object is also needed. So the space object here will have the space. If you delete this, it will not work. Down here we have portals and another portals object, portal layer. These two are important. If you delete these, it will not work. <laughs> and the same with artifacts. You have the artifact scene, artifacts object, and the artifacts, uh, if you delete either of these, it will not work. Portals are, let's have a quick look here. Portals are doorways to other spaces in the Monaverse. So the scene needs one of these. You can delete the second one, but the first one should be there. Information is there if you need it. Artifacts are, or well, the artifact layer is an, a layer of objects that are usually linked to uh, external websites. So you could click on the artifact in your space and go to a portfolio website or OpenSea NFT to buy an object or an NFT of some sort. So we have that functionality. There are other artifact types coming in the pipeline. So keep an ear out for those. That said, you do not need to put artifacts in a space. They are completely optional, but I'll keep them there for the sake of argument. The green spawn points are when you link to this space, it will ask a question about these, which, which portal you want to go to. The unique name, which is here, unique portal name is very important. So we have two portals, they have different names. If they are duplicate names, it will come up with an error in Mona. Uh, so make sure those are separate. I will have a tutorial on portal spawn points and artifacts coming soon. Next, the artifact also has a spawn point which will add functionality later. So those are the basics. If we want to test the playground in a browser, which we can do right now, we have our scene, we have our spawn point. We have this button right here. I could, if I wanted to, use build playground files. We also have build mintable files for later, but we could use this one. But I find playground is much better because it will open up the folder with the playground files and open up a browser with the playground that we can drag it into. So uh, the exports folder will be in your project folder. So under space, and exports, and then you'll have the playground files here. So we can drag and drop this into this. Click in the space so we can look around, press V so we can look at the character. This is my avatar here. Uh, press H to pull up information. Uh, we can have frame rate and our controls right here. And that's basically Mona. We have uh, space running around very quickly. And of course, anything this space you want it to be can be that pretty much. There is a recommendation of keeping it about 50 by 50 by 50. The space does not have to be limited to that space. It's just recommended. If you can optimize your space to work on a lower end system for a much larger size, you can do that. But 50, 50, 50 is we were a good size on the grounds that it's a social space and you don't want to run forever to get to anybody else. <laughs> so if you have reason to make it bigger, you can definitely can do that as long as you optimize and make sure that your space is good for that. Now, I do find at the moment uh, it is a good idea to delete the playground files. If you update uh, the playground files too quickly, it may not update these files. So when things aren't changed, that is probably why. So 
let's have a look. So we've downloaded the Mona template. We've opened the template in Unity. Uh, we've loaded the Mona scenes. We didn't create a space. We did look at it, but there is that. So that will be other tutorials in the future. But once again, we do have these uh, sections down here to look into how to build your space well with a lot of the tools such as light maps to get really good lighting, reflection probes, light probes, animation, reactor, which is our interaction tool, which is currently uh, in an experimental state and a video renderer when you uh, need to submit your space. And we've added test your space as well. So that's basically a quick start guide to the Mona universe. Good luck with it. Uh, we look forward to seeing your creations. Join us in the Discord if you have any questions. And happy building. <laughs>